It's a beautiful day. If you look hard enough, you can just make out the blue hills of Munchkinland. There they go. It's awful early for them to be up and out. Every day's a new adventure for them. <laughs> Go get it, boy! Come on, Toto! Oh. Hey sis, what's he trying to do? He's working on a guidance system for the balloon. What? You should be in DOS, Frank. I know what I'm doing, Scarecrow. Okay, don't blame me when you crash. You can do it, Frank. <laughs> All right, Toto. <laughs> that tickles, Toto. Let me show you what I installed for you. Very own door. <laughs> How many more of these do we need? By my calculations, the ballast required for optimum navigation is a little over 50 pounds. So how many do we need? Just a couple. One or two. Eight? Eight? Ah! <gasps> oh! They could use your expertise, Scarecrow. Yeah, they could. Look what you caused. Bad boy! <laughs> Watch out! Don't trip. You are such a klutz, Boris. Stop yelling, it scares me. Everything scares you. Does not. Does so. See? Such a baby. Thank you, Toto, for proving me right. As always. If you want something done right. Toto, let go! <laughs> I said, let go! Ugh. Oh, get me out of here! <laughs> Total, we have work to do and don't need your help. How's it coming? Almost done. Now, if I had built this, I would have used a different grade of wood for the... We know that you know everything, Scarecrow, so spare me your armchair carpentry. Just trying to help. Well, uh, why don't you go help Frank? He didn't want my help. He'll be sorry. Out of the way, Toto! Oh, no! 
No, Toto. I do not want to play with you. What happened? I crashed. What? I crashed. I know you told me so. Back to the drawing board. I know you can figure it out, Frank. You are the wizard's son. Yeah, well, I wish Dad had brought back an instruction manual for this thing on his last trip. How much of the outside world do you remember, Frank? Not much. It was crowded and noisy, but sort of fun, exciting. I've never seen it. I want to, though. Well, pretty soon, we'll have our own conveyance and we can explore the world. Or at least the neighborhood. Ready on the pump? Ready! Ready. No, Toto, I can't play with you. I would have preferred a different shade of green on the balloon. Need any help with that, Frank? I've got it covered, thanks. I'm almost finished. The balloon's guidance system and remote are interface. The balloon is programmed to return to this spot, so no matter where we go, we cannot get lost. When do we leave? Soon, I hope. Maybe we should ask Andrea to come along. No way. Yeah, she's such a troublemaker. She just can't make up her mind whether she wants to be a good little witch or a bad little witch. Well, personally, I find her indecision very annoying. They never let me play with them. Well, I'll show them. Lunch time! All you think about is food. Don't yell. I wasn't yelling. Was I yelling? Well, Bella, your normal speaking voice falls somewhere between a yell and a scream. Oh, really? I'm only being assertive. Is it safe to leave the balloon here? Sure. No one can fool with it unless they know the entry code password. What is the password? Oz. What else? I'll show you what else. Where would you like to go on the balloon, Dot? Somewhere. Somewhere outside of Oz. Wouldn't that be scary? Wouldn't that be scary? <laughs> We'll decide where to go after lunch. Yeah! yeah. Toto, Toto, I didn't mean it, boy. Toto, come back! I'll teach them to exclude me. Now, let me see. What was that password? Of course, Oz. How original. I think I'll send this balloon to... Let's make it a surprise. Hmm? Your parents have been looking everywhere for you. And here we are. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. Hi, Dad! Be back in plenty of time for dinner. Uh, don't stray far, kids. We won't. Yeah, not too far. <laughs> <laughs> See her? 
are flying. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> uh, what's happening? The balloon. We gotta stop it. Toto. <laughs> Toto, jump! No! The balloon's too high! Toto, don't jump! <laughs> I want Toto back! We all do, Nettie. Hang on, Toto! We'll save you! Don't worry, Nettie. Remember what I told you? The remote will bring the balloon back from wherever it is. Hurry up, Frank. It's it's gone. Gone? gone? Yeah, it's not where I put it. Now, who could have taken it? Yeah, who could be so devious? Andrea! I'm not telling. Come clean, Andrea. Where did you send the balloon? Read my lips, Frankie. I'm not telling. Tell us or I'll break your wand. Go ahead. I've got a spare. Please, Andrea, tell us where you sent the balloon. No way, Runt. But Dodo's on board. He'll be scared. Yeah, he's all alone up there. He'll be so frightened. Well, I only wanted to teach you guys a lesson. Not the mutt. Dodo's not a mutt. He's a purebred, and he's lost. Where is he, sis? Where's Toto? Okay, okay. Put a plug in the waterworks. I'll tell you where I sent the balloon. <laughs> you will? Where did you send it, Andrea? Not so fast. I have a couple of conditions before I blab. Hey, that's blackmail. That's right. We won't buckle under any blackmail threats. Then kiss Toto. Bye-bye. <laughs> what are your conditions? You have to take me with you on any further adventures. Not for all the emeralds in Emerald City. Then there's no deal. Okay, Andrea, you've got a deal. Now let me see. This might come in handy. Now we can recall the balloon. Click of this switch, and no matter where on earth the balloon is, it'll come back to us. There it is! I told you it would work. Toto, you're back! Toto! Here. This is all your fault. Yeah, no wonder nobody wants to play with you. I'm going to tell your mother on you. There, there. It'll be all right. How? Yeah, how? If you want Toto back, we'll, we'll just have to go and get him. Let's go. Let's, Let's go find Let's Toto. Go. Let's go. Wait up. Hey, wait for me. What makes you think you're invited? Don't you remember your promise? Yeah, well, that was before we knew how bad you could really be. Losing a defenseless puppy? Yeah, what he said. There's no place for you on this expedition. Oh, really? Well, you all seem to be forgetting one tiny thing. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm the only one who knows where I sent the balloon. She's got a point there. All right, Andrea, climb aboard. So nice of you to ask. All right, where did you send it? Wand, please. There. It looks like an island. Some place called New York City. I heard my father talk about New York. It's, uh, it's near Kansas, I think. We'll find him, Eddie. We're coming, Toto! We're coming! What's that place? The Deadly Desert. It surrounds Oz on all sides and nothing can live there. I'm scared. Grow up. Think how scared Toto must be right now. Hey, did you see that? A stray pooch. Maybe we can sell him. We have to catch him first. So what are we waiting for? Let's get the little mutt. Oh! Got you now. No escape. You luck just ran out, Poochie. Maybe his luck has just changed. Come here, boy. Yeah, you are a boy, ain't you? Let's rush him! Yeah, he's just a bum, some homeless guy. Yeah, but he's a big homeless guy. We'll wait till later. Yeah, sneak up on him while they're asleep. We'll be back, old man. Your little heart was just pumping away there. Well, you're safe now. Color, no tags. You look too clean and well fed to be a stray. Where are you from, boy? I know you don't know what I'm saying. You gotta excuse me. Talking to animals is a thing with me. They all treat you equal. Don't judge you. What would you say to some food? I got me a nice piece of chicken in my bag. Boy, you was hungry. You sure are a cute little thing. I bet somebody's missing you pretty bad. Must be good to have somebody miss you. I know it's sad to be lost. There, there, now, never you worry. I'm sure there's somebody looking for you. What say we try to find them? I'm sure we'll find him in no time. Uh-oh. What's the uh-oh for? There's nothing wrong, is there? Such a baby. What could be wrong? Right, Frank? Frank? There 
there's uh, just a slight malfunction in one of the systems. Which system is that? Just the one that controls the landing gear. Is that all? What? Don't be alarmed yet. We just have to implement a... Teensy Weensy crash landing. One thing a crash landing rarely is is Teensy Weensy. We're going down! into a tree, that's all. That's all? Brace yourselves! Ah! Nettie, hold on! I can't! We need something soft for him to fall on. You! Me what? Yeah, me! Nettie, fall on me! Thanks, Scarecrow. Don't mention it. Thank goodness you're all right. I was sure scared for you. You? Scared? How novel. Hello? I could use a hand here. And an arm. And a leg. Very funny. How do you feel? I think I have a little more on my right side than I do my left. How about now? Just like new. Thanks, Bella. Always happy to lend some assistance. Yep, that's my sister. Any excuse to hit somebody. Now, we have to find Toto. Where could he be? Toto! Toto! Oh, this town looks awfully big. Big and scary. We better split up. Dot, Nettie, Boris, Scarecrow, try up town. Team Boy, Bella, Jack, and I will head downtown. We'll meet back here, okay? okay? Okay. Hey, what about me? What about you? What team am I on? A very special team. Your own. Keep in touch. Well, what if something happens to her? Hey, in the battle between Andrea and New York City, this town's gonna lose. You might need me. You never know. We can't leave her alone. You can come with us, Andrea, but no magic. No magic. No problem. I hope the people are nice here. I'm sure they are. Yeah, people are the same everywhere. Hey, there's the mud. Listen, I got a plan. We're going to the animal shelter. See if anybody's looking for you. You hungry again, buddy? Hey, buddy. Little guy. Come here, boy. Where are you? Wave bye-bye to the pooch, man. Hey, you come back here. Bring him back. I'll find you again, boy. I'll find you. I'll find you. Oh, Mommy, I want one. One of what, dear? One of those big, fat kitties. I am not fat. I'm... Shh. I told you, Boris. Animals don't talk here. Scarecrow, you better go limp. I can do that. Excuse me, little girl, but where did you buy your pet? He was a gift for... for Christmas. I want one! Do you remember where your mother bought him? Would you consider selling him? No, I don't think... Honey, wouldn't you rather have this rag doll? 
That ugly, dirty thing? No way, Jose. Hey! Come on, ugly thing. And fat thing. We got a dog to find. I, I am, am not dirty. Fat. Hey, look at that funny looking guy. I don't know quite how to break it to you, Jack, but you're that funny looking guy. No way. And that's me. I look rather good. What is all this? My father told me about it. It's called television. Do people look at themselves in it all day? No, they... Uh, well, television is hard to explain. People watch things on it. All the time? Sounds weird to me. Yeah, it'll never catch them. Toto. Yes, we will, Nettie. <laughs> hey, it's too early for Halloween. <laughs> what do you call those contraptions? They're called bicycles. Cool. And what do you call that cage on the back of them? Oh, you mean the thing with Toto inside? Yeah. yeah. Toto! What's that? What's what? Barking! I hear barking! It sounds like Toto! The stress of the trip is getting to him, I'm afraid. It is Toto! Look! once and we'll find him again. We will find Toto. Is that his name, Toto? Cute name, Toto. Resident. Who are you? Name's Rick. I've been taking care of the little guy. He belonged to you? I knew he belonged to somebody. Something tells me you kids aren't from around here. Where are you from? It's a long story. So you came here on a balloon from a place called Oz, huh? Yeah, over the Deadly Desert. The Deadly Desert. I see. I don't think he believes a word of it. Oh, no, it's not that. It's just, well... Hey, if you don't believe in Oz, then how do you explain Tin Boy? Or Scarecrow, for that matter. And when have you ever seen talking lions? Well, I did have a particularly bad day at the zoo some years ago. Look, when you've been where I've been, and been through all I've been through, well, it's tough to believe in magic. Just this once. Living on the streets for a long time, and... You live here? Well, here, there, anywhere. I'm homeless. Well, there must be homeless people where you come from. That wouldn't be allowed. Well, there are homeless people where I come from. It's definitely allowed. There's no room for me anywhere. There's no room in my life for magic. I guess we better go try to find that dog of yours.
There's a store over on 51st that'll pay us 10 bucks for the dog. 10 bucks? Is that all? Yeah, that's all we can get unless we have the papers for it. What are they gonna do with the dog? What do we care? Yeah, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. <laughs> hey, there goes our 10 bucks! Toto! 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 There go those brats. my job description. I think that was the Uptown Express. But it might be the downtown local, though, or the Crosstown. Why don't we just take the next one of these things and tell it to follow the other one? It doesn't work that way. Maybe not where you come from. <laughs>
Think of something. Come on, get my hands on that dog. Yeah, whatever you're thinking for me goes double. You're doing a good deed, pal. You restore my faith in the human race. Just let me have my arm back when you're through with it. Please disembark the craft via the starboard side, making sure you have not forgotten any belongings on board. And thank you for sailing with us today. Now we got him. Yeah, everywhere you look, foreigners. compared to what we're gonna do. Not so fast, Hoodlum Twins. What are you gonna do? Stop us with your teeny-weeny magic wand? As a matter of fact... Whoa! Now, goons, you wait right there. Whatever you say. We'll talk about this later. 221. 220. I'll go down. If I fall, nothing will happen to me. I'm almost there, Toto. Almost there. Almost. Oh. Scarecrow! I'll be okay. Just get Toto. Look, honey, somebody dropped their towel. <gasps> What'd you say, dear? Uh, not, not, nothing. Not, 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 nothing at all. They're gonna fall! Do something! Dot's very unhappy when I resort to magic. 
We saw it! We saw it! Do what I ask, O Wando Mine, and I'll eat all my broccoli for a month. What's with this thing? Oops. What oops me? Generally, or in this instance, particularly? Either way, it sounds bad to me. What would you do in this situation? I can't get all of you and the torch in the same shot. Back up a little. Mm. Well, that picture will never come out if you don't hold it steady. Thank me, thank her. Thanks! Who is she anyways? She's obviously the queen of this country. Yeah! That's not who she is at all. Let me get my breath back, and it'll be my turn to tell you about my country. Hey, Rick, where you been? I've been... I've been... Back now? Where'd you get the wand? This old thing? It's been in my family for eons. I'll give you a spin on my bike if you let me borrow it for a while. Do I look like I was born yesterday? We gotta get home, gang. Yeah, home. Which way is that? The balloon's that way. That way. So you still haven't told us? Yeah, where are you guys from? Let's just say, not from around here. Oh no! What do we do? What happened to it? And this town, if you leave anything unguarded even for an instant, chances are it's going to be history. I'm not crazy about this town. Don't look at us. Yeah, we've never even been to this part of the park. It ain't our turf. How will we get home? It looks like we're stuck here. Forever. You mean we'll never see our friends back home? Or our folks? Come on now, kid, don't cry. Look, this is not a problem. I'd like to know what he does consider a problem. Uh-oh. Every time I hear an uh-oh, I just know there's bad news. Well? Well what? Aren't you going to say, what a big baby, always worried over nothing? This time we have something to really be worried about. Why is it that that doesn't make me feel any better? Well, nothing's going to happen unless we roll up our sleeves and dive into this mess. Yeah, we built this thing, didn't we? We can rebuild it, can't we? I guess. Now look, I used to be a carpenter. We can get this thing back in the air in no time if we just put our minds and hands to it.
bad. Yeah, I could get used to this manual labor gig. Well, you're on your way, kid. We are if Frank is able to... Won't it work? I need a new chip for the guidance mechanism. Let me see. This looks a little unconventional. My dad brought most of the parts I was with him. What he didn't, I, well, improvised. Well, there are plenty of stores that sell these things, but you have to know what to ask for. You're gonna have to identify it. How will I do that? How about going to the library? What do you know from libraries? I sneak in to get warm in the winter. They got a whole bank of computers there, but you need a library card to use them. I got a card. You do? Hey, I like to read. You got a problem with that? Well, listen up, Freddy. You lead the gang to the library. I'll stay here and look after the balloon. Me too. There are a few rough edges on the crate I want to see too. Will you look after me too? <sighs> I need a nap. Sure, kid. Good luck, group. Looks like, like Dad. Yeah, it does at that. It'll be easier if just Frank, Dot, Andrea, and I go in. I don't think they'd know how to deal with you guys exactly. What's wrong with us? Nothing. It's just that even in New York, you're a bit unusual. Unusual? Good unusual. But, well, yes, unusual. Not that there's anything wrong with unusual. <laughs> with you. He was, but... You haven't lost him, have you? No, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Yeah, he's probably behind a tree doing his business. Toto doesn't have any business in this town. He's a tourist. No, what I meant was... Well, gotta get back to this balloon. Toto! Toto! I need. Copy down the catalog number. Why don't we just take one of these with us? They have plenty. It doesn't work that way. Did you find what we need? Yeah, and Freddy says he knows where we can pick it up. All we have to do is go to a place called Slappy Sillies, and they'll give it to us. Whoa, you're half right, Dot. They will sell it to us. Sell? Yeah, you need money. What's, What's money? money? What's money? <laughs> Hey, 
hope you choke on it. <laughs> Mister, have you seen my dog? He wouldn't happen to be a ravenous little con terrier. Yes, yes. Yeah, I seen him. He ain't one of my francs. You owe me eight bits. Eight bits of what? Don't play dumb with me, Junior. Eight bits. A buck. A buck? Look, where's your mother? Home. Home where? Emerald City. Seattle? No, silly. It's in Oz. Oz? Where's that? Over the deadly desert. Are you pulling my leg? How can I be pulling your leg? My hands are in my pockets. See? Let's consider the franc a gift. Thanks. What's a franc? Scram! Where, Squirt? Out there! <gasps> I've got an idea, if you're game. I'm game, I'm game. Are you out of your collective minds? How about 50 for the C-892-996? Ah, oh, these babies list for three and a quarter, without tax. We're waiting. Win for what, sister? For you to slap yourself silly. Yeah, like the sign says. They're from out of town. Uh, well, they're about to be out of my store. Scram! <gasps> if they don't mean what they say, it shouldn't be on the sign. No, Andrea, don't! <laughs> have this chip on special today for buck fifty. Tax included. Whatever that means. Sold! Ready? Ready. Hold on to your head. I'm not wearing a... Boat's a destroyer. What can I tell you? Watch where you're going! Oof! I meant to do that. Thanks! I really need that nap now. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, here they come. Oh, you had a good long nap there, Nettie. Oh, yes. 
slept like a log. Hey, Billy! Did you get it? Got, Got it. it! We are out of here. Ready? Yeah. This library business. How do you go about getting the card? Follow me. Well, it's been a pleasure. You take care of yourselves, kids. Thanks for everything, Rick. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have found Toto. And we wouldn't have been able to get out of here. Oh, I was glad to do it. Well, I better be going. Going where? Don't know exactly, but I'll find me a place for the night. You scared? Oh, just a little bit of acrophobia. How about you? Nah, I'm just scared of heights. I should say I used to be. But I've been to New York, so nothing scares me now. Ah! I'm glad you decided to come with us, Rick. We all are. But are you sure they'll want me there? In Oz? Everybody in Oz is wanted. Hmm. Sounds like my kind of place. Is something wrong? No, it just means we're heading home. Where's the map that leads you there? Oh, Oz isn't down on a map. True places never are. Okay. Looks like we're heading into some rough weather. Oh, I'm sure it'll pass. It'll pass. It'll pass. Isn't that what you said, sis? I may have spoken a bit prematurely. A bit? A bit? Are we there yet? By my calculations, we should soon be over the deadly desert. The deadly desert? That sounds inviting. Once we're over that, we're home free. I want my mommy. Me too. Don't worry, I can smell a change in the weather. I think there's something wrong with your smell of Jack. I said there was a change coming. I didn't say it was a good change. What's that? Uh-oh. No more uh-ohs. My nerves can't take any more uh-ohs. The ropes are snapping. Uh-oh. Ah! What can I do to help? I can't ask you. Ask, ask! Well, somebody has to take that spare rope and, well, climb up and, uh, well, restrain the balloon. I had to ask. job done. Yay, Rick! Yeah, you saved us. Let's just call it a fair exchange. It should be almost there. Wow, are you certain, Frank? All I see is darkness, and I don't like darkness. I am certain we're there. We're home! Thank 
goodness, I was so scared. You were? I'm just trying to make my kid brother feel better. Sure you are. All we have to do now is mosey over the deadly desert and we're home. Yeah, what can happen now? Look, it's an orc. Now I know we're almost home. So that's an orc? Yes, they're indigenous to the Quadling country. They're so cute. I love those birds. You mangy lice ridden dodo! We're gonna crash! Over there, an oasis! We have to make it to those rocks! We have to dump some ballast. Don't look at me! Are you okay? I'm fine, thank you. I fell on something soft and squishy. You fell on me, and I greatly appreciate you getting off. So sorry. Oh no. I'll use my wand to fix my wand. <laughs> Are you okay, Nettie? That was fun. Can we do it again? He looks cozy and warm. Nap time. Well, there's solid ground over there. And it looks... That's munchkin land. Ah! Well, how are we gonna get over there, boy? <laughs> we have to figure a way to get across this desert, kids. Hey, kids, where are you? Come on, this is not a time to play games. Kids! What are we gonna do, boy? What are we gonna do? Sis, Bella, I'm right beside you. Whose hand do you think you're holding? I thought it was mine. I'm over here, somewhere. I'm sort of down here behind you. And luckily, I landed on something soft again. You landed on me again. Where are we? You're deep beneath the deadly desert. And you are trespassing. Who said that? We did. What do you say, boy? Any ideas? Is there a problem? Yeah, there's a problem, propeller, but... And you're the cause of it. Those claws of yours popped up alone. And now those kids are lost somewhere under the sand. <laughs> 
I didn't mean to burst your balloon. I was just excited to see my fellow Warks. Well, stop crying. That won't help. What will help? I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. If you'll just... I think my mind's going. I'm sitting here in the middle of some place called the Deadly Desert, talking to a bird <coughs> and a dog. Was this trip really necessary? Yeah, it was. Because you know what? I got friends now. These kids are my friends. And you're my friend too, aren't you, Toto? What about me? I don't know. The jury's still out on you, pal. I'll do anything to change your opinion of me. Well, when I think of something, you'll be the first to know. Right now, we have to get those kids back. We need a plan. Now, if we just put our heads together... Uh, you're on very thin ice, buddy. I got an idea. If you'll help. What about me? Oh, I've got something in mind for you, too, later. Just hang loose. <coughs> Don't worry, kids. I'm coming. Teach him to trespass on our sand. We got him good. Yeah, we got him! Krusty? Yes, Dungy? Now that we got him, what do we do with him? I'm scared. I want to go home. I want to see my folks again. I wish we had never gone on this journey. I wish I would never let you guys talk me into coming with you. I wish I could stop itching. We're trapped in a deep, dank pit, and Pillow Boy here is worried about his allergies. I wish Rick was here. He'd know what to do. You sure you're okay with this, little buddy? You know what to do. Just tug on the rope when you've found him. Helping. This is me scowling. I know what we can do. What? Tell me. We can take the Tin One apart. Excellent. Tear metal limb from metal limb. And then we can rip the stuffing out of the straw guy. Then we can play mix and match with their body parts. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>
Good boy. Time to put my plan into action. She would dismember first. Oh, I think the tin one. That way we can sharpen our claws as we play. Oh, you're so smart. No way are you touching our friends. Yeah, shells for brains. Keep your smelly claws off. They're going to be a problem. Why don't we go get the others? Others? There is safety in numbers, you know. But would it be fair? To outnumber them so? Who cares? What's that? Look there. I'm shaking in my shell. How about you? Oh, yes. So scary. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Ooh. What's that I hear? Reinforcements! As if we needed any against these wimps. Things aren't scared of anything. That's right. We aren't afraid of anything. Well, there is that one thing. Please, what are the chances of one of those disgusting things making their way down here? Good point. Something's in me! What a spaz! Got you! Hey, we were just trying to have a snooze! Forty winks, is that too much to ask? Ah! Mice! How mortifying. This is the last time we come here. I'm with you. I say we blow this cave. I'm with you. you! This place stinks! I wanna go home! Hey! What are we afraid of? Mice! Nice. 
Didn't our folks say we must conquer our fears? Well, yes, 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 yes. yes. but mice! Yes. mice. Krusty's right. Are we not crabs? Are we not crustacean crusaders? We, we are. are! Then let's get him! <laughs> Seems like we're always thanking you, Rick. Don't mention it. We're not out of the woods yet. Thanks to you too, Toto. And thanks, Sark. This, this is, is all, all your, your fault. fault. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Haven't any of you ever made a mistake? Ah, oh, look! The crabs! The crabs! Everybody into the bed. What good will that do? Have you got a better idea? Well, let me see. Take your time, Bella. Everybody into the basket. Ready, Orc? Ready. Happy in that dark, smelly cave. But oh no, we had to hitch a ride with this scarecrow of death. Way to go! We lost him. Outwitted. We're pathetic. Yes, we give bottom dwellers a bad name. Oh no, it's mother. What are you doing out of your holes? You know you're supposed to nap after lunch for a full hour. Do you want cramps? No, Mommy. We, we don't, don't want, want cramps. cramps. And you! I'm going to have a word with all your mothers as well. Back to your holes. March! Look! We're almost over the deadly desert! Munchkin land! down here! Copy that! Fellas, a little blue. We like it already. <laughs> Look who's here. Hiya, dog. Welcome to Munchkin Land. Can you stay? We'd like to, but we have to get back to Emerald City. We've been gone quite a while. We couldn't tempt you for late lunch? I could be tempted. I've heard you guys set a great table. No, that's right. We have to get home. But you still have quite a journey ahead of you. It's an awfully long way to go on an empty stomach. And what would your parents say if we sent you off without food? No. You have to admit, they're making more sense by the minute. Well, maybe just a snack. Yippee! What's that? Oh, that. That's the house my mother first came to Oz in. Your mother came to Oz in a house? Yes, you see, well, it's sort of a long story. I'll tell it to you after lunch. Lunch? The Munchkins have invited us to lunch. Am I invited? Of course. 
course, you're one of us, aren't you? Well, I guess I am. Then come on! Yes, very, very comfy. We're honored by your presence, Rick. You are? Well, I don't think anyone has ever said that to me before. We've never entertained anyone from the outside world before. It's a thrill. A thrill and a half. Well, I'm thrilled too. In fact, I've never felt this secure in my life. <laughs> seen anything like it. You're home! You're home, Rick. Oh, look, Dad. I appreciate it and all, but, well, this place looks too good for me. Oh, Rick, there's no place too good for you. Emerald City, all of us will be lucky to have you. You really think so? I know. Guys, you're grounded too, Bella. Me? All of us. My dad confiscated my hard drive. Bummer. They aren't going to send us to bed without supper, are they? Is food all you think about? They aren't, are they? Should you tell them or should I? Tell us what? Yeah, what? Well, Mom and Dad were pretty mad. Really mad. Really, really mad. But they're glad we're home, and they arranged a sort of mini... Celebration. Celebration? Celebration? With food? With all your favorites. Hey, what about Rick? Well, our folks were very grateful to him for helping us. And they said they had a surprise for him. What kind of a surprise? This kind of surprise. Hey, wow, Rick, you look great. 
I think green is my color, don't you? Hey, did I hear something about lunch? It's good to have them home. It sure is. To Rick, our friend and the newest citizen of Oz. To Rick! Rick. Oh, thanks. I have a toast, too. To all of you, my friends, and to Oz. To Oz! Oz.